Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. It's been about a month and I know my videos have been really sporadic and I apologize for that. I'm not going to make up any excuses or give you guys any reasons. Just know I've been really, 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 really busy. But let's just jump right into the video. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul for you guys. Um, I think I have around 10 books, give or take. And I'm excited to show you what I got. It's been a collective haul probably within the past couple of months, um, probably since my last book haul, so let's just dive right into it. Okay, so the first book I had to buy when it first came out, I am was totally obsessed with the series, and it was a complete shock when she came out with this new book, Nobody Knew It Was Coming. So... I'm sure you guys all know about this right now, but it's the Twilight 10th Anniversary Edition. And we all knew the 10th Anniversary Edition was coming out, but we didn't know what that entailed. Well, come the day that it dropped, we found out if you flip it over, it's got a new story in the back of it. Now, um, it's called Life and Death, and it's by Stephanie Meyer. And this is told from the perspective as if the girl was the vampire and the boy was the human. And I think the boy's name's Bo. And I don't remember what the girl's name is. Edith? Yeah. So Edith and Bo. And I don't really like the names, but I think I'm going to like the story regardless because I love Twilight. So I'm excited to read this. And I have a special place up on my shelf with the rest of my Twilight stuff. So I'm excited to have this up there. The next book I have is the second book in a series and freaking loving it. I'm currently reading it. I am almost finished. I maybe have 70 pages left of it and it's The Revolution of Ivy by Amy Engel. I am loving this series guys. So good and Bishop Latimer whew, book boyfriend. You guys have to check this out but the first one which is the book of Ivy. I'll just read you guys the back of the first one because I don't want to give any spoilers away and most likely I will. So here it is. After a brutal nuclear war, the United States was left decimated. A small group of survivors eventually banded together but only after more conflict over which family would govern the new nation. The West Falls lost 50 years 50 years later, peace and control are maintained by marrying the daughters of the losing side to the sons of the winning group in a yearly ritual. This year, it's my turn. My name is Ivy Westfall, and my mission... Thank you. Thank you, truck. Really? My name is Ivy Westfall, and my mission is simple, to kill the president's son, my soon-to-be husband, and return the Westfall family to power. But Bishop Latimer is either a very skilled actor, or he's not cruel, heartless boy my family warned me to expect. He might even be the one person in this world who truly understands me, but there is no escape from my fate. I am the only one who can restore the Westfall legacy, because Bishop must die, and I must be the one to kill him. Now, these are published by Entangled Teen. I got the book of Ivy last year as an arc and I flew right through it and it's no different with The Revolution of Ivy. Such a good sequel. I don't know how many books are going to be in this. Um, I don't know if this is the last one or if there's going to be some more books. Um, I'll kind of keep you guys updated because I'm loving this series um, a lot. And then I also wanted to show you guys before because I'm using this. It's a bookish item. Um, it's from... Um, Simply Emily Designs. You guys have seen me get a bookmark from her before, but I really wanted a Twilight one um, since the 10th anniversary was here. So I had her make this for me, and she actually has a deal going on with them, and I'll leave the link for her Etsy shop below to where you can get two for 20. So I had her do one in green, which is my favorite color, and then I had her do the one with the white background for me. So you guys should really check her out. I even just ordered another one because I wanted one with my favorite artist, um, Sam Smith, on it. So I've gotten many different bookmarks on her uh, from her so you can get whatever you want. I really 
love her products they last a long time and they're very very durable so they're well worth it the next book that i got i have been super excited all year for this to come out and that is winter by marissa meyer this is the fourth and final book in the lunar chronicles if you guys have not checked the series out it's amazing the first one is cinder which is a cinderella retelling the second one is scarlet which is which is a little red riding hood retelling that was my least favorite one i didn't care for scarlet um, Cress, which is um, a, Rap a Rapunzel retelling, and then you also have Winter, which is a Snow White retelling, and they all tie in. So all the characters from the first book and the second and the third, they're all throughout the entire story. So it's one big cohesive series, and I really love it. You guys should really check this out. Plus, Marissa Meyer is like the sweetest person in the entire world. I freaking love her. She's one of the nicest people that you will ever meet. The next book that I have is the second book in the series. Um, this one is The Rose Society by Marie Lu. And The Young Elites is the first book. I have not read either one of them. But I saw this and it was a signed copy. I have my first one personalized by her, I think. Yeah, I took that one to office and I had that one personalized. So I saw this one was signed and I knew I couldn't leave it so I picked it up. I haven't heard anything about this next one and it's called Once Again by Liz Braswell and Cameron Doki. I picked it up yesterday. It says with a hint of magic and spell of romance the tales of Snow White and Sleeping Beauty come alive. So I love Disney princess retellings like it's one of my favorite things to read. I just think they're so whimsical and magical. So I'm really excited to dive into this one. And I can't wait to share with you guys what I think about it. I think I want to pick this one up soon. These next two I got off of Book Outlet. Normally I get a huge box from Book Outlet. But I haven't found that much stuff that I didn't already have on there. But I saw a few things that I've been have that I had my eye on for a while now and I just never picked them up. The first one is The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. I run through her books so quickly. So I saw it on there. It was only a few dollars and it's hardcover. So I was like, why not pick it up? Um, I don't know when I'll get to it because you guys know I don't read that much contemporary. And this next one is a coffee table book. Um, I don't know if you guys didn't, if you guys knew this about me or not, but I am a big fan of the show Downton Abbey. And they had this on there and I was like, oh, I have to buy it. So it's the world of Downton Abbey and it's really cool because if you open it up, it's got different stuff on the characters and it shows pictures of like them filming and stuff. I'll try to see if I can show you guys some, but it's just, it's got different stuff about the show and whatnot. It's got really cool pictures in it. So I figured that I would pick this up because, hey... Now that I'm a single lady, I can decorate my house however I want to have whatever I want out. So I was like, you know what? I'm buying this and I'm sticking it out there. Yep. Next book I have is from one of my favorite authors. I love her so much. Her writing is so... Uh, I can't even explain it. You guys know what I'm talking about when I show it to you. It is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is Simon Snow's story. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a mixture of Harry Potter and some something else I don't remember what they said it has to do with the wizarding school now when I read fangirl and if you guys have read fangirl this is where this comes from where she was creating that Simon Snow fan fiction well this is Simon Snow's actual story and um when I was reading that I kind of skipped over those parts I wasn't really interested in that part of fangirl I really wanted to know just about the two main characters I did I just didn't care so I would skip over it but something told me you know what you're probably gonna like this so you might as well just get it and read it and see how you like it so what I think I'm gonna do is read this first and then read fangirl again because then I might have a little bit more of appreciation for those parts of fangirl to where as when I first read fangirl I just I didn't care about it. I'm sorry for those of you who have liked that part of the story. Next book I've had my eye on for a while and you guys know I love fantasy so I had to have it and I ordered it off Amazon and that is Uprooted by Naomi Novik and the UK edition of this cover is gorgeous but I really loved the storybook look to this cover so I wanted this one and it's got the deckled edges 
and I just think it's gorgeous. I don't know too much about it. I just know it's a fairy tale and I love fantasy. So you know what? I was like, I'll pick it up. This next one is a November new release and it's from one of my favorite, my top favorite authors. And that is November 9 by Colleen Hoover. I have a crap ton of Colleen Hoover guys. Like I have all of these right here are all my Colleen Hoover books. Like I think I have every single one that she's published so far. If I'm missing one, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that I have all of them now that I have this one here. She's my favorite author. Just her work is, ugh, love it. And these next two would not be a book haul without having something Harry Potter in it because it's me we're talking about. And that first thing that I got is the Harry Potter coloring book. I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. I thought about buying two of them. I had to force myself to leave the other one because knowing me, I'm going to want to color every single page and then I'm going to want to hang them up as pictures because I'm Harry Potter obsessed, what can I say? And the other Harry Potter thing, of course, that I got is the beautiful illustrated book of the Sorcerer's Stone. It is just it's stunning guys it's so beautiful like if you guys have not picked this up yet you need to I want to show you my favorite favorite picture in the entire book and I cannot wait to read this I'm thinking about reading this copy um come next month but look at this picture of Harry like it's just so beautiful I love it so much like all of the illustrations are gorgeous and I cannot wait to they come out with even more because they're supposed to come out with like one every single year so oh, i cannot wait to have them all in my grasp they're so beautiful all right guys that's all i have for my mini book haul let me know in the comment section below if you've read any of the new books that i have gotten and if you liked any of them no spoilers please and i will see you guys next time bye Mwah.